Okay, so this problem is another limiting reacting example. This time we have aqueous hydrobromic acid reacting with uh, solid sodium hydroxide to produce aqueous sodium bromide and liquid water. They give us the chemical formula for each of these substances, so let's go ahead and build the chemical equation and balance it. So we have uh, hydrobromic acid, HBr, aqueous, reacting with solid sodium hydroxide and this produces aqueous sodium bromide uh, so this is aqueous and liquid water okay so we have our chemical equation I know that the chemical formula are correct because they are given to us uh, in the in the in the problem in the written problem the last thing to do is to make sure that we have the balanced chemical equation with the correct coefficients. It's going to serve as the foundation for all of this uh, stoichiometric work that we do. So if I look closely, you'll notice that it is already balanced as written. 1Br, 1Br, 1Na, 1Na, 2Hs, uh, 2Hs, and 1 oxygen, 1 oxygen. So that was very, very easy to do. So let's look at the, the amounts of our starting substances. Uh, the given amounts. We have 8.90 grams of hydrobromic acid and we have 2 grams of sodium hydroxide. Calculate the maximum mass or the theoretical yield of sodium bromide. They want to know how many grams of that will be produced. So what we're being asked to do is to convert from a starting mass of one of our reactants to a theoretical yield of a product. How much of this can we make maximum? But there's a problem. We are given amounts for both of our reactants. We're, we, they, they tell us that I have 8.9 grams of this and 2.0 grams of this to start. When you have amounts for more than one of your reactants, then what you need to do is determine which reactant is the limiting reactant. So in order to figure out what our limiting reactant is, we're going to have to convert from 2 grams of sodium hydroxide to a mass of NaBr or an amount of NaBr and we're going to have to convert from 8.9 grams of HBr to NaBr to see which one gives us the smallest amount. So uh, we'll do 8.9 grams of HBr here and 2.0 grams of NaOH down below. So this is our starting point for both substances, reactant A and reactant B. 8.9 grams of reactant A, 2.0 grams of reactant B. Before we can do anything to move in this direction, we have to first convert this from an amount, a, a mass to a molar amount. Why do I need moles of each one of these? Because that's the only way that I can convert from one substance to another in um, in this stoichiometric problem. We use the coefficients from the mole ratios. It says one mole of this reacts with one mole of this to produce one mole of this and one mole of this. So we need to convert from grams to moles. So I need to find the molar mass of HBr and NaOH. The molar mass of HBr is 80.91 grams in one mole of HBr and the molar mass of NaOH is 39.997 grams of NaOH in one mole of NaOH. So now I have moles of HB, HBr and moles of NaOH. Now that I have moles of each of these two reactants I can convert from here to here so I can convert from a number of moles of this to figure out how many moles of this I can make and I can also convert from a, a number of moles of sodium hydroxide to figure out how many moles of sodium bromide will be formed. I use the coefficients, I pull the coefficients from the balance equation. The coefficients are one mole of HBr produce one mole of NaBr. Here one mole of NaOH yield one mole of NaBr. 
all the coefficients are 1. So let's check our units. Moles of NaBr cancel. Moles of NaOH cancel. And if I stop now, I have moles of NaBr for both lines here. But they ask for the maximum mass of sodium bromide. So they want it, this in grams. They don't want it in moles. So we need to input one more conversion factor here, and that would be the molar mass of sodium bromide. The molar mass of sodium bromide, one mole of NaBr, is equal to 102.894 grams of NaBr. One mole of NaBr, 102.894 grams of NaBr. Check my units. I'm left with grams of NaBr on both lines. So now the only thing left to do is do the calculations and find out our theoretical yield of NaBr. So here I get 11.3 one eight grams. I haven't rounded yet. I'm just taking it out to three decimal places and uh, let's do this line here. I have two open parentheses, one over 39.997, close parentheses, one over one, close parentheses, open 102.894 over one, close. End up with 5 5.1451 grams of NaBr. Now let's figure out how much I need to round. Three significant digits here, two here, so we need to round our answer as they indicate in the problem to two significant digits. So this would be 11 grams of NaBr and 5.1 grams of NaBr. So what did we just do? We calculated masses of NaBr that we can produce from these given amounts of reactants. First, we looked at HBr. If I have 8.9 grams of hydrobromic acid, not considering how much sodium hydroxide is needed, let's imagine we have an unlimited amount of sodium hydroxide. With 8.90 grams of hydrobromic acid, I can make 11 grams of sodium, sodium bromide maximum. All right. With two grams of sodium hydroxide and an unlimited amount of HBr, from this two grams of sodium hydroxide, I can make 5.1 grams of sodium bromide. So which one of these reactants is our limiting reactant? Which one is limiting how much product we can make? That would be sodium hydroxide because it gives us the least amount of product 5.1 grams versus 11 grams so sodium hydroxide is our limiting reactant hydrobromic acid is our excess reactant but by definition in a reaction the limiting reactant is completely consumed this reaction will go forward when hydrobromic acid and sodium hydroxide are are mixed together, this reaction will proceed forward. This reaction will proceed forward until all of the limiting reactant is used up. Sodium hydroxide is the limiting reactant, so it will be used up first. Once the sodium hydroxide is all gone, the reaction is going to stop. When the reaction stops, all of the limiting reactant is gone, but you will have some excess reactant left over that was not used. So in this case, again, Sodium hydroxide is our limiting reactant. Hydrobromic acid is our excess. So that's why we don't pay attention to this value. Even though we have enough hydrobromic acid to make 11 grams of sodium bromide, we'll never make that because the reaction will stop once we've only produced 5.1 grams of sodium bromide because we only have enough sodium hydroxide to make 5.1 grams of it. So the theoretical yield or maximum mass of sodium bromide that could be produced by the chemical reaction is going to be 5.1 grams.